This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at conjugated systems. Conjugated molecules have alternating single and double bonds. The alternating single and double bonds are known as a conjugated system. Here we have examples of molecules with conjugated systems. We have 1,3-butadiene, 1,3-5-hexatriene, retinol and chlorophyll. If we look at the structures of all these molecules, we can see that they have alternating single and double bonds. Molecules with larger conjugated systems, such as retinol and chlorophyll, absorb wavelengths of visible light. Retinol absorbs violet light and reflects yellow light. Chlorophyll absorbs red and blue light and reflects green light. A conjugated system has a region of overlapping p orbitals that allow for the delocalization of pi electrons. On the left, we can see the four p orbitals in 1,3-butadiene. These p orbitals overlap to form a delocalized pi system, which we can see on the right. The four pi electrons are delocalized or spread out over the whole pi system. An electron in the pi system can absorb certain wavelengths of light and be promoted to a higher energy level. Molecules with larger conjugated systems absorb longer wavelengths of light. Longer wavelengths of light have lower energy. Here we have four molecules with conjugated systems. The size of the conjugated systems increases from left to right. Benzene with the smallest conjugated system absorbs the shortest wavelength of light. Tetracene with the largest conjugated system absorbs the longest wavelength of light. Because of its large conjugated system, tetracene absorbs light with a wavelength of 480 nanometers. The complementary color, which is orange, is reflected. By looking at the color wheel, we can see that tetracene absorbs blue light and reflects the complementary color, which is orange. And this explains why tetracene is an orange powder.